So John David, you know, I, I, I thought you were terrific um, in this movie, especially your action scenes. And, you know, in particular, the cheese grater scene in the kitchen. You know, <laughs> cool. I was wondering if you could talk more about that scene uh, in particular, and then just also how you prepared for what looked like a very physical shoot. Oh, cool. Uh, well, thanks for pointing that out. Um, uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was a great to, to be able to learn how to fight and, 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 and train with uh, George Cottle and Jackson and, and the stunt team and the fight coordinators. Um, it's funny talking about the cheese grater because um, that was one of the notes that, that Chris wanted. He, I need more cheese grater, John David. I need more cheese grater. Really get it in there. So, um, um, you know, just, just the kind of, you know, the way he was physically, the arc of the character, um, really informs the audience of what kind of man he was. I mean, he's a, he's a weapon. He's a force a force to be reckoned with, you know, and um, that combination of, of, of vulnerability and his sensitivity, I think, was actually what gives him his powers. Because he cares so much about people, about humankind, about mankind, I think uh, he gets really invested in the people he's working with. Um, it informs, you know, how violent he has to get to protect them, to protect the mission. And so what you saw in um, the kitchen um, was him, you know, just uh, just at work, what he does best. With the story focused so much on, you know, time travel and the concept of um, inversion, um, what was your initial reaction when you read the script? Like, was it confusing or like hard to make sense of? Sure, yeah, all of the above. Confusing, hard to make sense of. Uh, but I kept thinking it's so unlike any I mean, I, I, won't, I don't say this movie's about time travel, but it's the approach to time travel is like, not like this because we're dealing with inversion. We're dealing with technology um, and, and how it uh, individuates things, you know, from the, uh, hu whether it be a human being, a piece of equipment or whatever. So um, that was what was so unique about it, um, which stood out to me, which I kind of grasped. But other than that, I was just like, whoa, I, I, need, I need another crack at this. I mean, it took me four hours to read it when I first got it, so. It was, uh, yeah, I was trying to catch up ever since to, to Christopher Nolan. Did working on a movie like this, you know, involving all of those themes kind of, you know, make you think about, you know, in, in your own personal life, you know, things like parallel universes and like the nature of existence and things like that? Um, sure, it did. But again, speaking on to the technology, you know, you know, of the, the concept of I never thought about bringing something down that way. And like just just a simple concept of inverting, inverting a human, inverting um you know, a, a, a car or something that 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 it, it seemed feasible. I'm like, oh, maybe this could really happen. So, so um, that um, that was intriguing and had me thinking a lot more. Tenet reminded me of a video game in some ways, in terms of you know the story it was telling, all the action, you know the way it subverted kind of your expectations. Um, so, you know, I work for a primarily a video game website. So I was wondering, like, do you have a favorite video game, and what might that be? Dude, so I'm sorry, but this gets gets gonna be really excited because that's how I felt. You know, the, the, the protagonist, even the name protagonist, it, 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 to me it was like, oh, this is, the protagonist is you, the audience members. Like, it's almost like a first person shooter in a way. You know, like what, you, what he's going through, so, does, so, the, so is the audience. So you can put yourself into this character and, and, and experience everything that he is. So if you're, if you're confused, it's probably because he is. If he's feeling something, hopefully you're feeling something as well. You know, and um, even with the violence, you know, like you don't know why he's kicking ass, but you know, he, you just know that he needs to at this moment. You know, the, so that, that was exciting. But uh, video game wise, I mean, Red, Red Dead uh, Redemption was a big one. Um, I was a big fan, I'm a big fan of NBA 2K all day long. Um, and uh, ESPN 2K, they, they, they stopped making it back in 05, but I think that was the best video, best sports video game ever made. And uh, I'm actually would love to campaign uh, the NFL licensing them to make another video game since I have this opportunity to talk about it right now. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs>